Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kagho coming at you with another video. So today, I'm going to be going over the war effort, and I'm going to be getting this video out before the war effort comes. Um, we're expecting the patch in about an hour. As you can see, we're recording at 11.10 um, Eastern. And it comes out at noon, and um, there's maintenance from noon to 12.30, so we'll... Uh, you know, we'll see when they come out. Uh, traditionally, the maintenance has only been 10 minutes for most of Classic. Uh, the Dire Mall, they had some uh, maintenance issues so that made it take longer. But other than that, it's been pretty uh, quick. So I would definitely be checking that if you're eager to get into this and be ready. But anyway, I wanted to go over the war effort. So here on Horde, Valley Spirits is where you want to be. There are going to be a bunch of war vendors that appear here. And this is where you're going to turn them in. I'd imagine it is over here in this area where everyone is just sitting here waiting um, for them to appear and then they will turn in these um, materials around here. Um, in order to get um, the war effort completed, you have to turn in hundreds of thousands of materials. But the incentive for turning them in right now is going to be getting these awesome boxes. Or if you want to, you can get reputation with the Undercity, Orgrimmar, uh, Darkspear, or the Torn. If I take a look here at my reputation, I'm revered with uh, Thunderbluff, Undercity, and Darkspear, and Exalted with Orgrimmar. I don't really have an interest in that. I don't think that's the best use of my reputation. I don't really see the point in getting a, a Kodo or the Undead Mount at this time. You know, I can definitely just turn in cloth to complete that. However, you do get 75 reputation per 10 uh, accommodation coins that you turn in. And those vendors are located um, at... Uh, various capitals so like the Undercity one is in Undercity the Torn one is in Thunderbluff the Troll one is actually right outside of um, the Valley of Wisdom at Thrall's Palace so if you're interested in those um, it takes 56,000 uh, accommodations to go from zero neutral all the way to exalted that's just you know some basic math uh, they give 75 per as I mentioned but anyway for the horde and the war effort supplies that you're going to need here is a list of all the um, turn that you need um, right here are all the items that I have um, but to go over the total ones is broken into five brackets for each thing there are bandage uh, quantities or cooking quantities or herb quantities there are bar quantities and there are skinning quantities now these quantities um, differ between horde and alliance so listen very carefully here the alliance only ones for the bandages are going to be the linen and silk bandages the horde ones are going to be the wool and mage weave now one type of all of all five of these categories is shared and the one that is shared for the bandages is going to be the max one which is really nice and that is rune cloth bandages um, you turn in a stack of 20 for all of these quests and each of them reward a different amount of signets on the repeat turn in um, on the first turn in of each of these they will give you a chest as well as 10 tokens so that's why you want to go through and gather all the shared ones and the materials that you have um, it's going to be 14 stacks of something um, varying as you can see here now the leathers actually you only need 10 but they stack to 20 so it's something to keep in mind um, that is it for the um, uh, bandage quantities now we're going to move on to the uh, cooking quantities so the cooking ones that you're going to need for the alliance are going to be rainbow fin uh, albacores and roast raptor now you can get the raw ones but cooking these is actually quite a bit um whether you have the recipe or not and from what i've seen i i had to buy a few honestly and on the auction house they're pretty expensive they're anywhere from five to twenty gold per stack for a lot of these um but the horde only ones are lean wolf steak and baked salmon and then the one that we all share is going to be spotted yellowtail and once again turning in all these the first time will earn you um, 10 signets as well as um, a chest that you can open now the chest that you open varies by the materials that you turn in so that's very very important so for the cooking one this is the first one that's like this the shared one is actually seven um signets and for repeats and it will reward um greens that are 40 to 50 range um and the horde actually gets the baked salmon which will reward uh 50 to 60. as far as epics and stuff go i do not 
have a confirmed uh, drop on them. The best I could get was classic DBs, and it only showed a lot of greens. However, I've heard that you can get a lot of rare items from these, so it is worth it to me. And the part two of this video will be once this comes up, I'll turn on all, everything, and I will um, sort of roll all those chests and see what it was and how it worked and if it was really worth it. Um, but anyway, on to the herb quantities. Now, the uh, Alliance will get Strange Kelp as, w uh, or sorry, uh, Strangle Kelp. I always say Strange for whatever reason. My bad on that. But it'll be Strangle Kelp and Arthas Tears. Now, the Arthas Tears is the um, top tier herb that you turn in, and the Alliance only gets that. So, like, the Horde got the cooking. The Alliance will get the herb one. It's pretty balanced, actually, which is really cool. I like that Blizzard finally got their balancing stuff in order. Um, and then the other ones for the Horde are going to be Peace Bloom and Fire Bloom. And then the one that is shared for this one is Purple Lotus, which will yield seven signets on uh, repeat turn-in. So it's pretty nice that it's balanced similar to the Spotted Yellowtail in that uh, regard. The next um, one is the Bar Efforts. Now the Alliance will get the Iron Bar and the Thorium Bar. Uh, the Thorium Bar is the top tier one, so Horde can't really turn in their Thorium, um, which kind of sucks because we have a lot of it um, here. But then the uh, Horde ones are going to be Tin and Mithril, which are really awesome to turn in. Um, and then the one that is shared for this one is actually Copper Bars, which is the one Signet tier, which is pretty uh, interesting. But, you know, it makes sense to make one of them like that to sort of balance it out, as we can see with the other ones. Um, and then finally, we have the War Effort skin quantities. These are going to be for the Alliance. They need light leather and medium leather to turn in. Um, and the, for the Horde, we have heavy leather and rugged leather. Now, for the uh, skinning, as I mentioned before, you only need 10 of these. So this rugged and this heavy will each count as a repeat turn in. I will get the opportunity to do that. And then thick leather is um, the shared one and you turn in 10 and you get seven signets for that. So that's pretty much how that works. I do have a lot of duplicate materials coming in the mail here. Uh, my bank tune finally uh, ain't loaded in, but I just wanted to do this overview, cover all this and explain to you what you can turn in, how you're gonna turn it in, and just why you need to do this as soon as possible. Now for the Alliance, I believe you turn in here in Iron Forge and you will be at the Military Ward. So somewhere in this area here, um, I don't really have an Alliance tune, otherwise I would go there and show you that. Um, I don't have a, the exact location either, so this is the best I can do for you guys. Um, but you will turn in the materials that I mentioned before. Um, at, like some of these materials, like just to give you a frame of reference for how much we have to turn in, you have to turn in like 180,000 light leather at the military ward um, and just absurd quantities you know like copper bars here the shared one it takes 90k per faction so the horde and the alliance have to turn in that amount and it's just kind of insane honestly um just to show you sort of what the quest looks like for the um for the reputation people i'm going to go run over here to uh Thrall's place real quick and show you guys the um dark spear guy but one signet to turn in will yield you five reputation um with said faction and then uh turning in 10 will yield you 75 reputation with that faction so that is just something to keep in mind and be ready for 100 percent um this is you know this is this only happens briefly and uh, make sure you are at the spot when the server launches you know I overlooked this yesterday because I wanted to do this justice and sort of explain everything as well as the fact that the um, the uh, guild and on my server onslaught already has confirmed all the materials for the horde and the alliance so this is what one of the officers looks like one here um, I don't have them yet but it will give me um, five rep and then this would give me 75 rep for the dark spear and then this is where the orc one is um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I'd imagine the Alliance have the Dwarves and the Gnomes because that is their shared city in Ironforge. Um, but that's pretty much it, guys, for the brief overview of this. Like I said, we're going to be making a lot of videos today. This is a super awesome 
uh, time. I will definitely um, upload this as soon as I can, and hopefully it reaches you guys in time, and we will see the awesome, awesome rewards that we can get. Um, that will be the part two of this video and sort of everything you need to know with that. But anyway, guys, that's it, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching this, and we are so close to 2K subs, so I will see you later. Bye-bye, guys. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much for watching. It truly means a lot to me. If you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video, please, please, please share it with them. It helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what I love every single day, and that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that I can. So finally, thank you so much, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.